I have built a demo app where each user belongs to a country. Each country has their own set of nuclear launch codes and a launch history. The basic idea of a multi-tenant app is that the content each country have made should only belong to itself and not be available to other countries. Now I have already achieved this by simply filtering the content by the same country ID as the logged in user. As you can see here, we can only see Russia's launch codes. So what's the issue? Now here you can see that I'm filtering out the country ID by the authorized user's country ID. One of the things that can occur is let's say that we accidentally delete this. And as you can see, we can now see all the different launch codes from each country. This is super bad. This could also happen when developing new code that a developer forgets to add this check. And it's also super tedious to have to add this check over and over and over again. Now, as you can see, this app is super simple, but I already have several places where checks like this is repeated over and over again. So now that we have concluded that this will, will not work, let's delete it. Which means that now our app will show all the data from all the different countries. And just to show you fast, we have launches. Each launch belongs to a country. We have launch codes. Each of them also belongs to a country and each user also belongs to a country. And then we have our different countries here. And the way that we will make our app multi-tenant again is using Laravel's global scopes. And we will make a scope called multi-tenant scope. And let's set up some basic boilerplate. And we need to implement the eloquent scope interface which just requires us to make an apply method, except the query builder. Inside the apply method, we simply check if the user is logged in. And so we apply the multi-tenant filter that we applied manually across all the controllers before. And next step is to apply the scope that we just created globally to our model by listening to the boot event. And we add the global scope like this. Now that we have added our global scope to our launches, we can see that we are back to only being able to see the launches that we have initiated. But since we haven't added up to our launch code yet, we can still see everything here. So let's add it there. Copy paste the boot method and import the multi tenant scope. Refresh the nuclear launch code and we are back. I can't recommend enough using global scopes for your multi tenant apps. It's such a game changer and ensures you don't forget to add the checks, delete it by accident, or mess up the query that actually does the check. It's just a set it and forget it and it just works. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. Peace!